So what to do when you show up and the lake looks like this. Like little to no visibility. Uh, there's not a whole lot of trash floating in it, but it is definitely muddy. And as you can see, we're on the downside. Uh, you can see where the debris has been and we're kind of headed back the other way. See how some of the rocks and even the concrete has got water coming off of it. So stay tuned and we're gonna show you what to do. What a white bass. Look at there, look at there. That's a good one. <laughs> I had to hit him in the nose. It is a good white bass. Welcome back to the channel here on Camo Crappie. And it could have been called Camo White Bass the way this day started out as you can see i got down to the water and it was all muddy um, of course the rains have pushed in and uh, and caused the the lake to really be getting muddy so i thought well i'm going to start out and i'm going to go in this muddy water and just see what it looks like and I actually popped a couple or three white bass right to start off before we get too far into it I do want to remind you all the catfish conference 2023 be February 24th and 25th in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, it's going to be catfish plus crappie this year, and I will be there. Uh, I think Kenny may be there. I'm looking at uh, trying to do, I'm in my booth, uh, maybe doing some different things, still working that out, but definitely uh, come by. I'll be there both days and stop in and talk to us. But getting back to this crappie video, so I went went into the mud uh found white bass and actually one little bitty crappie but they were very scattered out so went on up the lake uh into clear water the first stop here actually found these fish in 30 35 feet deep so i thought and i and i full disclosure i expected uh these to be smaller and i thought well we'll just see i'm floating over with a straight pole Right now, 14 foot uh, lose pro uh, lose pro target, and you can see it's really small. But I mean, I'm we've got my screen stretched out probably to 35, 40 feet uh, is the depth. But did pop one, and full disclosure, little uh, little big eyed fish. But not not surprising to me, this time of year um, on on Green River Lake and other Central Kentucky lakes, you can expect the these fish you know to be anywhere because they're not a big thermocline um but found like i said you know showed up water's real muddy uh was able because a lot of times with these lakes the way that the everything sets up and eventually they very well could get completely blew out uh muddy from dam to to headwaters right now and i haven't i haven't looked at it today but the headwaters, of course, muddy. Everything blew out. A um, ton of big white bass, but it's uh, it's really muddy. But now at the dam, as of this week, now it may may have changed. Water's come up maybe two or three feet. It hasn't. Did not come up as much as uh, I kind of expected to after seeing everything. But the water's still down around the dam. Still good good water color, and a ton of fish. Uh, and that's that's what I did. I, would, I did that two days in a row last week. Uh, got on the water, found the mud line, and fished above the mud line. Uh, anywhere from, like I said, 30, 30 feet. But really the sweet spot uh, for the crappie right now is probably around that 17 to, to 12. Um, may even be able to catch some bigger ones up shallow. I'm not sure. This one here, you see we're 22, 23 foot of water, but you can see the structure on this is coming up to 12 uh 12 feet so like i said i would just get out there and they're they're holding to it 
uh, holding to the structure and it actually I mean it cuts down a whole lot of the a lot of the lake because you you get with the way that the rains came in the mud is definitely there you look at this guy here he's gonna eat that sinker I've got to uh, and missed the, the first one's trying to get the sinker but was able to uh, to get that one there as you see here but definitely get out there you can find clear water um, the headwaters is going to be really muddy right now on probably central uh, you know barren nolan which they i haven't checked the 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 water levels i would say they're both still way down i don't know how much they come up but green green is fishing really good i mean not really getting into you know those pound and a half you know pound and three quarter fish or i'm not finding them right now but as far as you know 10 10 and a half inch fish uh like what i did here today you know probably four hours had a, had a double limit uh they were actually and you see you see the video footage they're eating pretty good but uh we we fried them up and ate them they were really good the and i even talked to kenny kenny was i was using the lightning shad kenny was using um, a little bit bigger profile bait but they're they're really they're eating real good right now uh and i've caught them vertical jigging and casting the the casting definitely was probably easier they're still wanting to chase it um now the of course you saw the white bass i i literally the water was so muddy up there i had to hit them in the head with it but uh just let you finish watching this video if you have any questions leave them in the comments uh remember to hit the like hit the subscribe hit the notifications bell and mark your calendars for that february 23rd uh, date as we will be in Louisville and we should uh, we're actually gonna be in less than a month we're gonna be in Louisiana fishing the first stop on the elite series so we we will be filming that and documenting all that and I'll probably take the computer with me to try to get all that edited so big things coming uh, stay tuned to the channel and we'll see you on the water All their brains be blown out their heads. Slow. I ain't a ripple on the water though. GoPro, stop capture. 